The next NCLEX study material on my list is the MAC K study material. Yeah, I dodged it. <laughs> Somebody was going to slap me through the screen for mentioning MAC K, the god of NCLEX preparation. Hey fabulous people, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you clicked on this video because you are planning to take the NCLEX RN anytime soon, then you are in the right place because this is the kind of video I wished I watched when I was preparing for my NCLEX exam. It would have saved me a lot of time, energy and most importantly money. But since you are watching this video right now, you are in luck because in this video, we are going to be talking about those NCLEX study materials that are not worth the hype. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. This is the kind of video I was searching for when I was preparing for my exam. But most of the videos out there were, oh, this is what I used to study for the NCLEX. Use this trick to pass the NCLEX. I did not get this kind of video at all. So guys, you all know that when I was preparing for my exam, I had just one month to study and pass the NCLEX. I have my NCLEX story video somewhere up there. I'm going to leave the link for you so you can watch it. But when I was preparing for my exam, I had just one month to pass and write the exam. In fact, I even registered for the NCLEX before I started preparing for the exam. Weird. Don't do that. But that was my story. And while I was preparing for the NCLEX, I was thrown to the world like there were so many materials out there. You have Kaplan, Leaping Cuts, Saunders, U Word, Acha, NCSBN, MacClay, Simple Nursing. You guys know all of them because you're probably using one or two of them right now. So in this video, hmm, we're going to be talking about those materials that you should not even waste your time on at all. Oh, because ah, this video is going to save you a lot of time so make sure you watch this video to the end <laughs> so before I start let me give a disclaimer just because I mentioned one or two materials here in this video does not mean that they are bad it does not mean that you cannot still study and pass the NCLEX with those materials it just means that for me this is my review this is my own interpretation this is from my own experience from me these materials were really of no help, very little help if I say so. So they were not really worth my time, my energy and my money. If you want to know what these materials are, then keep watching. So the first study material on my list is the NCSBN NCLEX study exam. <sighs> Guys, this exam was a total waste of time. So the NCSBN are the people that are in charge of preparing the endless exam questions. So they have this practice exam that we're, like they said, taken from the real endless exam and then made into practice exam. So in the recent, these are endless exams that are no longer in use. They are retired endless questions and then they were formed into a question bank and presented to you as the NCNSBN endless practice exam. And this exam cost $150. In this package, you have two sets of exams consisting of 125 questions each. So first of all, let's talk about the pros because it has both the pros and the cons. Now the pros of this exam is that, well, it's just like the real NCLEX exam, obviously. <laughs> the NCSVM practice exam should be like the real NCLEX exam. So yeah, I'll give them that. It was just like the real NCLEX exam. The questions were almost similar. <sighs> almost. The questions were like, really short, simple to understand, basic, straight to the point, which is just like what you would find in the real NCLEX exam. Another pro about this NCSBN practice exam is that the screen was just like the real exam. So you had the calculator there, the color, everything. The way it was presented is just the way it is in the real NCLEX exams. Now another pro is that they have this time limit just like the real exam. Now I don't know if this is a pro or a con because if you are planning to take the NCSBN NCLEX practice exam then you have to book out four hours of your time. 
just to take the practice exam so it's just like the endless exam you cannot pause the time you cannot stop to say you want to feed a baby when i was preparing for my endless exam i had a four months old baby at the time so i was breastfeeding my baby of course i would do nappy changes and those stuff but you could not you cannot really stop the time when you are doing this practice exam so it's like a pro and a con a pro in the sense that it's going to prepare you mentally to the point that oh yeah i'm going to take the endless exam i cannot do anything apart from the endless exam within this next four hours now the con to that is that if you have something really important to do or maybe something like an emergency comes up within those four hours and you go and attend to that emergency you cannot pause the time your time keeps going so even if you take coffee breaks you go to the toilet you stop to cook you stop to take care of your baby or do anything of that sort your time keeps counting so the best thing would be like if you are planning to take this endless um, practice exam just book somebody to come and babysit for you or just take just time block that four hours to concentrate on this practice exam so i'll say that is like a pro and a con at the same time now let's talk about the con <laughs> in fact this, this corner is like the real deal breaker for this because the ncsvn cost a whooping 150 dollars that is expensive but that is not even the main con the main con is that at the end of the practice exam you don't even get to see your rationales like you don't know the questions that you got right. You don't know the questions that you got wrong. You don't know why this is right. So you know in the real endless exam, it makes use of the cat style. So it means that if you get a particular question right, then the next question will be slightly more difficult than the previous one. And then it goes ahead like that in difficulty level. Now with this exam, it doesn't really say if you got the easy questions right or if you were able to progress to the difficulty level like it just doesn't say that at all the only thing you'll get at the end of the exam is just a summary a blank statement that just says okay out of 125 questions you got 72 right or you got 73 right and that is like 53 percent that is it 53 percent what is that 53% chance of passing the end class? Is that 53% of the whole exam? Like, what does that even mean? It doesn't make any sense. It was so discouraging, so disappointing that I almost did not take the second practice exam. But because I had paid $150 for that, I had to take it. And the results were almost similar. I think I had just one question extra right. So... It didn't make any difference to me at all. Now, would I recommend this exam? Hmm, not really. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of energy. In fact, it was a waste of my concentration because it did not add anything to me at all. The fact that there was no rationale, it was just not worth it at all. So that is it. The next study material on my list is the Archer question bank <laughs> see i first of all heard about acha in one of the endless study groups that i was in at that time because you know i had just one month i wanted to get as much information as possible so i was in almost every endless study group so this study group everybody was talking about acha oh acha is so good i used acha to study and passed my endless acha is this acha is that so i was hyped i wanted to try acha so i bought the acha question bank in fact i bought the complete the full package so the full package has both the rapid assessments the short content courses the um tutor style question bank and then you also have the prediction assessment in it as well so it was like a full complete package because girl was psyched i wanted to get this done and over with so I was ready to burn the money very well. Let's talk about the pros of Acha. Now, the pros, they have this rapid prep courses. So the rapid prep is like a summary of different courses, different disease conditions, just different systems, different everything. So there are actually two rapid prep courses. They had like, I think, three hours to five hours long lectures for each rapid prep course. So those two courses were like 10 hours long 
I think it was like five hours. I'm not sure anymore. But anyway, that's beside the point. So the pro is that they have that rapid prep course, which contained a lot of information. But that can also be a con, and I'm getting to that. Now, another pro to the Acha question bank is that the questions were really short, basic, simple questions. They were easy to understand, which is just like what is in the re class. Now, the re class is just testing the basic knowledge of a nurse. So they just want to see if you can practice nursing in a safe manner. So the questions are really very, very basic. So actual questions were all that. They were basic, short, straight to the point, easy to understand, which was like a pro. So another pro about the Acha is that they have something called the prediction assessment. And this prediction assessment uses the CAT style of endless examination questions, which was the thing I really liked most about the Acha whole package, this prediction assessment, because they said you should aim to get at least four very high chances of passing the endless. So after um, doing your question bank, you are going to be scored. You have like the low, the borderline, the high, and then the very high. So you need to score like very high chances of passing the NCLEX four consecutive times for you to be prepared for the NCLEX exam. Although I did not do it well, like I only had like very high chances of passing the NCLEX three times and then I stopped. So um, that was the major thing I liked about the Archer. Now let's talk about the cons. The cons, first of all, the rapid prep courses were so long, boring. There were times that I slept off. The classes were not really engaging. I don't even think I watched those rapid prep courses to the end because it got to a point I just stopped. I was like, you know what? I'm wasting my time watching this. I'm not getting the information I want to get from it. So I, I, I didn't really finish the rapid prep courses. So... It was like a very bad con for me because they were too boring to even assimilate what was being passed. Now let's talk about the short form courses. You would think that the short form courses would be better than the rapid prep courses, but no. The short courses were so short, too short that I felt like the information that was being passed was not enough to fully understand the system. So for example, they would want to talk about child health or something like that, and then they would dedicate the entire child health lecture, compress everything into a 10 minutes video. Like, mm -mm, no, I can easily get that information in a YouTube video somewhere but no so i felt like i did not get any good information from both the short courses and the rapid prep courses now another con for the archer question bank is the way the rationales to the questions we are being given so yes the questions were very simple easy basic questions but the rationale as well were very short and straight to the point like i had just a very short time to practice for the endless exam i wanted something that i could do practice exam and at the same time learn content so i wanted a question bank that had like detailed rationale so even after answering the question they would like go for that to explain why this is the answer and why the remaining three options were wrong but no the actual question bank did not do that they would just tell you this is the answer and that is it full stop and then there were some questions that were not even correct like the wordings the sentences did not even make any sense so yeah those were the cons for acha now do i recommend acha hmm let's say 50 percent now i would recommend acha on a 50 percent basis if you are practicing with another study material so you can use acha to like pad it up so you could get the full information but if you are going to be studying with just Acha, then no, I don't think it's sufficient enough. I don't think it was worth my time. If I'm going to be dedicating the entire one month to just use Acha to study for the exam, then I, I don't think I would have passed that exam. So moving on to the next one. The next NCLEX study material on my list is the Decency NCLEX Academy. Hmm. I almost didn't want to add this to my list, but I was like, you know what? I'm going all in, so yeah, I'm going to talk about the decency and I'm going to give my 100% review 
honest review about the decency and class academy let's talk about the pros so first of all the decency and class academy it's not really very popular out there it's mostly known to africans because it's owned by africans so a lot of their students are like africans that's what i understood anyway maybe they have other americans or other british or other nationals using their services but i feel like a lot of people patronizing decency and class academy are africans so anyway moving on the pros about the decency and class academy is that it's very very cheap so it was like 5,000 to 10,000. I don't know if the price has changed now, but when I registered with them, it was like 5,000 if you are still in Nigeria and then 10,000 Naira if you are outside Nigeria. So that would be like less than 10 to $20 for this academy. So it's really, really cheap. That's a very good pro. Now, another pro is that the way they structure their... um academy it's like they have this online system they have online classrooms right so each they have a specific content material that you need to study so they usually use um hersey saunders i think that was the main material they were using back then i don't know if they've changed it now but the main study material they were using was the hersey saunders and then they would allocate like each day for each content material so they will say study chapter one for today and then you have to like pass the questions on that chapter one before you can move to the next class which was like a pro and a con <laughs> at the same time <laughs> a pro in the sense that they wanted you to like understand the concept of what you just studied before you move to the next stage the con in it is that if you are like me and you don't have a long time <laughs> to study for the NCLEX if you have just one month to study for the NCLEX then no this NC academy is not for you at all now ideally i should say this you want to start preparing for the NCLEX as soon as you start your CGFNS application so you have a lot of time to actually prepare for the NCLEX exam because this thing is mentally draining so you don't want to put yourself under that time constraint, that pressure to like, you want to study everything within a short period of time. You don't want to do that. Like was in my own situation, my application was going to expire and I had just one month to write and pass the NCLEX. So I had to like do everything within that one month. So if you are like me and you have that limited amount, then please don't go and register for this NC because you are just going to waste your time you're going to waste your energy. While I was with this NC, I was studying with another study material because I started the first day, second day, and then I quickly realized that if I continue like this, I would just review one system in one month instead of the entire content materials that I need to learn for the NCLEX in that one month. So it just did not work for me at all. For me to like dedicate that time and say, okay, I have to study for um, Decency Academy within the first four hours of the day before I will now have the remaining few hours to read my own study materials. No, I just felt like Decency Academy, the way they programmed, the way they structured their classrooms, their learning, it was drawing me back so it was like delaying me instead of pushing me forward now another con is that because they have their classrooms online their ecg class was done on whatsapp so they had like a tutor that would be like typing sending information this is what this um condition is this is how to interpret this ecg and then there were lots of people in that whatsapp group trying to like understand what she was saying so i felt like there were some questions that people were asking that she was not answering there were some people that were not being carried along fully in the lecture like even me i did that ecg class for like i think two times and it just was not making sense to me at all so i did not understand it at all i was just lucky that i did not get any ecg question in my own exam because i would have in fact I already prepared my mind to fail any ecg question <laughs> but anyway I just felt like it was really, really confusing and the way they do the ECG classes online, though that WhatsApp, online WhatsApp class, it was chaotic, a total waste of time for me. Now, would I recommend Decency Endless Academy? 
Hmm. Let's see. If you have a very long time to study for the NCLEX exam, then yeah, sure, why not? Because I've actually seen reviews from people that use Decency Academy and they recorded a lot of success stories. But these are people that were with them for a long time. People that even when they started the CGFNS application, they were already with Decency Academy. So they had like maybe six months or almost one year to prepare for the NCLEX exam. So these are the people that would benefit well from Decency NCLEX Academy. Somebody like me that have like one month, two months to pass the NCLEX exam, then no. I would say no, just skip it. <laughs> you are better off studying on your own because Decency Academy is going to pull you back instead of pushing you forward, okay? The next NCLEX study material on my list is the Mac K study material. Yeah. I dodged it. <laughs> Somebody was going to slap me through the screen for mentioning Mackey, the god of endless preparation. So anyway, everybody knows Mackey. If you don't know who Mackey is, why are we watching this video? You've probably heard of McClemick, right? McClemick has been known for the past, the new, the current. He has been known for his 12 lessons for endless preparation so he has the yellow book the red book he has 12 lessons and the lesson 12 which is on prioritization delegation and something is like the most hyped and people will say that that lecture really helps them to answer questions based on delegation prioritization and the rest now let's talk about the pros of mac k mac Clemic lectures now mac Clemic lectures are easy to understand he makes learning fun, he makes concepts really easy to grasp. Like there are things that I learned from Mark K when I was preparing for NCLEX that I still remember because of the way he would like turn it into a song, turn it into a word, like a sentence, a saying, a rhyme, you know, stuff like that. So he made learning really really fun which is what you want to look out for in a good endless tutor not just endless tutor like in any good tutor right so learning with mark k was really really fun another pro is that the lectures are audio lectures which means that you can just put your earphones in your ear and just go about your daily activities and you will be learning at the same time which is what i did most of the time anyway i could be walking on the road attending to my baby doing something cooking um baiting my baby um making dinner you know you get the gist and i could be learning at the same time because i have my earpiece on so market lectures were really really good for me they were helpful now you'd wonder if you say they are very good and they are helpful why why is it on this list? I'm getting there. So let's talk about the con to Mark K lectures. Now, when Mark did these lectures, these lectures that are all over the place now, that everybody seemed to be watching before taking their endless, when he did these lectures, I want to say that that should be like maybe 10 years ago, probably a very, very long time ago. So you would agree with me that some of those lectures are outdated. There are some things that he would say and you know that they are not right. Like maybe they were right that time, but now the policy had changed. They don't do things the way they used to do it then. So I feel like most of his lectures or some of his lectures has to be like revised. I don't know if he's still having this endless study group still going on. But if he's still having this endless class, then I'll feel like the most recent classes would be way, way better than the previous ones that are online right now. But if he's no longer doing any um, recent study materials, then I will say those study materials that are already circulating online, you should listen to them with a pinch of salt. Don't listen to them and say you are going to take every single thing he says to the last T. Like I said before, when I was preparing for my endless exam, I was in a lot of WhatsApp groups and they have this um, thing where somebody will post a question and everybody will try to like get the answer. So there are times that people would argue and be like, no, this is the correct answer. Mark K said this is the correct answer. Mark K said this in his lecture that this is the correct answer. And then you go ahead and pick that answer and you find out that it's wrong. That is because some of the things that he 
was used to back then had already changed like i said before so if you are going to really focus on Marquet, don't just focus on Marquet and say you are going to use just his lectures to prepare for the exam use another material to like um, complement it and if you feel like there are some things he said that you just cannot agree with there are some questions that he answered that you feel like are wrong then i'll say do your own research and correct them because guys that is the past this is the present and you guys know that we have a new endless exam right now that is the ngn endless so it's a little bit different from what we were used to so anyway that is the thing with Marque. So do I recommend Marque? I'll say yes to a large extent. Yeah. Use Marque because he was really helpful. His concepts were easy to understand. But I would say don't use Marque alone. Use it with another material. And if there is something that you are not sure of, do your own research about it. Okay. Moving on, the other study materials that are not worth your time, not worth your money, not worth your energy are buying endless study materials from people that have passed the endless. So I actually fell a victim to this a couple of times because I was watching YouTube videos because I wanted to know like the easiest way, like give me the simple formula, the simplest formula out there to pass the endless. <laughs> So I was watching YouTube videos on tips, study materials to use, and there are some people that will be like, oh, I passed the endless exam, these are the study materials I used, I already made like summaries, some bullet points, things that you should know about each topic, I have made everything into a PDF form and I am selling this for maybe $100 or $50, you should go ahead and buy it and if you read this material, this is everything you need to know to pass the endless exam. Mm, really most of those people are just trying to make money first of all let's talk about the pro okay the pro is that it's good in a sense that it's a summary you don't really have to read the whole textbook that should be like the only pro the con is that it can be confusing because some of these people they write in shorthand when they are reading they just write and make notes i do that as well if i'm reading if i'm preparing for an exam i have like a notebook that i just like write write it down in my own ways how i understood it so these people will write it down like that and there are times that the words make sense to you that is reading and writing it but if somebody else pick up that notebook and read it it doesn't make any sense I bought a material, I was so sure that that material was all I needed for NCLEX. I printed everything out, I was like, ah, this is the only book I need to read to pass the NCLEX. And boy, was I wrong. I did not even read half of that because I was confused. I couldn't make out some things that were written. Like, oh, it was just, no, 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 no. Kudos to those that would take out the time to type. I'll say, yeah, those people... Maybe those ones who are worth the money. But you see those ones that will take biro and start writing. Nye, 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 nye. Mm -mm, stay away. In fact, do I even recommend buying courses from people that have passed in class? I will say no. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. It is so not worth the hype just because it was helpful to that person. Just because she read, understood, interpreted it. Of course it would be useful to her because she understood it. That was why she was able to interpret it and write it down. But for you that don't have any idea about that topic and then you just pick it up and you are reading it thinking that that is enough for you, I would say no. So like I said before, all these materials may have actually benefited one or two people in one way or the other. And you should also put into consideration that some of these people just graduated from school. So they have like fresh information still in their head. I finished my nursing school in 2012. That was like some years ago. I'm not very old old, but like some years ago. So I needed good material that would really refresh my memory bring those concepts that had forgotten back to life and these materials i listed did not do it for me well to a very very little extent so they were not what the hype for me so if you watch this video to this point and you like this video you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up share this video comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i love 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 you guys until next time stay fabulous bye